I wait to see how the winter season will obviously develop. The news over the UK is not very good in terms of COVID. Um, and unfortunately, because of how things work, especially where they're largely driven by tow operators, you're really not going to be able to let get to know the cancellations of the for the dump. Um, it, it, it's okay to be dismissive, but frankly speaking, September, October, yes, those are your trough months. But if you're getting cancellations in your trough months, if anything, you should be even more worried because that's when you want business. And what I found compelling about the Gersine Carter story was that she went to a cross section of hoteliers. Uh, Wayne Scapaldi, of course, the higher end, and Rene on the other end, um, in terms of what they, well, the HDA classifies hotels by group. And then in the middle, you had Patricia Das and, and the Sun Group, and all saying the same thing. And these people are not canceling their vacations, you know. They cancel to Barbados. Mm -hmm. My understanding is they've gone to the Seychelles and elsewhere. And that is a little worrying. Mm -hmm. uh, and and, and, uh, and, and uh, building over winter bookings is, a, is not a response because the truth is you, go, you are probably going to see cancellations, but closer to the time. You're not going to cancel you know, for a vacation plan in February. And so I, I think that it is, yeah, again, you need a plan. You don't have a plan. Um, and uh, it, it, is, it is obvious over and over again. I am mystified by the apparent difference of approach, or should I say, the BHTA and the government being on opposite pages is a, is a complete mystery to me. And if there was one thing I did in my 10 years of tourism, is I maintained that I was always on the same page with the private sector, even if we were not always in the um, but, you know, I, I used to see Sue Spray more often than many of my colleagues. If a week passed that I didn't see her, you better believe the following week I did. And the ironic thing is, the characters that I was dealing with were card-carrying members of the Barbados Labour Party. This is not a time to play games. This is a time to get on the right page as soon as possible. Public health considerations are going to become even more acute because I understand from Monday the government is going to stop requiring the second test for visitors coming to Barbados. No doubt this is in response to what's happening in the rest of the region. As you know, destinations are throwing open the door all together. St. Lucia from November 1, well, Antigua throwing open the door with everything shortly, apparently. So, the question is, again, uh, the cancellations and how we manage them and where these people are going to go.